Okay, so we just created our floor.h and floor.cpp. And before we get started on the algorithm, I'd like to just add the ability to count the number of floor nodes in existence because we're gonna be creating potentially a lot of these and we'd like to keep track of them so that we know that the number of floor nodes that we end up with is the only number of floor nodes in existence and that we've deleted all the other nodes that we don't need because we don't want memory leaks. So in floor node, uh, what we're, we're, we're gonna add a private variable and it's gonna be static. And this way we can access it without any floor node instances even being in existence. And it will be um, a basically running count, which will update uh, whenever we create a new floor node because we're going to increment it in the constructor. So let's create a static int32 floor node count. So this will be the count for the floor node. And uh, in the floor node dot, uh, dot CPP, we're gonna need to initialize this. And so in just above the constructor, we can say int 32 floor node and floor node count. This is how you access a static member. You have to fully qualify its name and we're going to set it equal to zero. And finally, we can add a getter for this and we're gonna say uh, force inline sta uh, static, because the function needs to be static if it's going to access a static variable. And we need to, we're gonna call this get node count, and it's going to simply return floor node count. So we can use this. Um, we're going to uh, basically um, get this floor node count whenever we want to know how many nodes there are in existence. And because this is static, if we increment it in the constructor, so say here, plus plus floor node count, then uh, every time we create a floor node, floor node count will be incremented by one. I'm gonna put this in both versions of the constructor, and I'm gonna put it in the destructor, only I'm gonna use the decrement operator, the pre-decrement operator. And this way, as soon as a floor node is destroyed, floor node count gets decremented by one. And this will be uh, a way for us to keep a, uh, an active running count uh, for our number of floor nodes. Okay, so we can go back to procedural room. And we can see now that we've got our, um, we've created this uh, unique pointer. Uh, we, can, we can test out the creation of the floor node and see how many nodes there are in existence. Now, if we simply just do a UE log, warning type, and we simply say nodes in existence, and we use the, uh, we can call the floor node static function get node count. This will show us how many nodes there are in existence. And in fact, we can call this get node count before we even create a floor node because it's static. It works even if there are no floor nodes. So we can compile this and we can see that uh, before the floor node existed, there should be zero floor nodes in existence. And we can also demonstrate how um, the floor node will be uh, deleted. And we'll do that next. So let's hit play. You'll see nodes in existence zero, floor node created, nodes in existence one, and then the floor node was destroyed. Now, if we want, we can, um, we can wrap this, this in a block of its own. So what we can say is uh, we can do uh, opening, in, uh, opening curly brace here, closing curly brace here, and we'll see, see that um, we will be creating this uh, floor node and then we're going to copy and paste the UE log inside of the block. And we'll see that nodes in existence should be zero. We should create the node, nodes in existence should be one, and then we should in exit this block. And as soon as this cl closing curly brace is reached, this floor node should be destroyed. And so this should be back to zero. And so, uh, just to prove after this that we're still in the begin play function, we can do another 
another UE log at the end just before begin play is done and say still in begin play. And so this is just to show that um, all it takes is a single block that will put something inside of the scope of that block and as soon as that block end is reached, the, any local variables declared inside that block will go out of scope. So let's hit play and you'll see that nodes in existence are zero. We create the floor node where inside of that block, nodes in existence is one. Then the block end is reached. Then nodes in existence is zero. And you'll see that we're still in begin play with all, while all this is happening. And so that's why smart pointers are so useful because you create them inside of some sort of scope and as soon as that scope end is reached, that unique pointer uh, or the shared pointer, whichever one, that variable gets deleted and the memory is cleaned up. So that's just a, uh, a quick check that we can use. We're gonna be using this get node count so we can see how many nodes there are in our algorithm. And uh, so, so that was just to give us that utility. Now in the next video, we're going to start the actual algorithm and start splitting up uh, the room into sub floors or floor nodes. And that way we'll be able to spawn items in those randomly sized rectangles.